What's up guys, I'm Puneet from Programmies and welcome back to the series on Python. In this video, we will learn to write Python comments and see why they are important. Comments are hints that we can add to our program to make our code easier to understand. Let's take an example. I have this program to print a text entered by the user. To make this program a bit more readable, I can add a comment like this. So I'll say, program to take the user's input. This line that starts with the hash symbol is a comment. We added this line with the sole purpose of making sure that anyone who reads our code understands what's going on. However, Python completely ignores them. We can also place comments after the code like this. So I can say, take input and then I can say, print the name variable. Let me run this program. As you can see, it says enter a name and I'll enter Felix. When I press enter, then it says your name is Felix. You must have noticed that only these two statements are executed and even for these two statements, these lines are simply ignored. Now let me remove these two comments from my program. I'm removing them because these two statements are self-explanatory and we do not want to make our code ugly by adding a lot of unnecessary comments. We can also use comments to debug our code. It is a common practice to comment out codes so that it is ignored rather than removing them completely. Let me give you an example. Let me write a program to take name and age input from the user. So I'll remove this old code and I'll say name equals input enter name and then I'll say age equals input enter age I want to convert it into an integer and then I'll say print name is name and I'll say print age is and then age. Suppose in this program it was not required for us to take age input from the user. Instead of removing these two lines, what I can do is I can add a hash at the beginning of both of these lines so that they become comments and are ignored by the Python compiler or interpreter. Let me run this program. And as you can see, it says enter a name, I'll enter Felix. When I press enter, then it says name, equals, name is Felix, but these two lines are completely ignored. Now later on, if I want to use the age variable again or I need to accept that input from the user, all I need to do is remove these two hashes and then they'll become statements instead of comments. A little pro tip for you, remember the keyboard shortcuts to apply comments. In most text editors, it's control forward slash if you're on a Windows and command forward slash if you're on a Mac. This will be very useful in debugging our code. Python doesn't have multi-line comments like other programming languages such as C++ and Java. However, we can use the hash symbol at the beginning of each line to get the same effect. Suppose we have this code and we want to add comments to all three lines. We can do that by selecting all three lines and pressing command slash since I'm on a Mac. As you can see, all three lines have been converted to comments. If I want these lines back, then I can again select them and press command slash and they will be converted to regular Python print statements. Before moving to the next section of the video, I'd like to mention that the Programmist team has created an app that allows you to learn Python from your phone. The app contains bit-sized lessons that are easy to understand, a built-in interpreter so that you can run Python on your phone, quizzes and many more features. The app is available on both iOS and Android. The links are in the video description below. You can also use multi-line strings as comments. If you do not know, we use triple quotes for multi-line strings like this. When I press run, our string is printed. Here, we are assigning this multi-line string, I am a multi-line string, to the test variable and we are printing that test variable. 
However, if we do not assign strings to any variable, it acts as a comment because Python completely ignores unassigned strings. For example, I can say something like this program takes an integer input from the user and prints it. Then I can write out my program like number equals int input enter an integer. Then as we have been doing a lot in this video series, I will say print u entered number. Here this string acts as a comment because it is not assigned to any variable. Let me run this code. It says enter an integer, I will enter something like 7070 and it says u entered 70. As you must have noticed, these three lines are completely ignored by Python. Now let us take a moment to discuss why comments are important. Imagine you are working on a year long machine learning project for a client. Since you were on a tight schedule, you decided to ignore comments. Anyways, you successfully delivered it to the client and the client is happy about your work. Fast forward a couple of months, a new government policy was introduced and the client wants the product to comply with that policy. Since you are the person who developed the app, it is your responsibility to maintain it. Without comments, you will forget the reasons why you wrote a particular piece of code a certain way and you will end up spending a lot of time looking at your own code trying to understand it. Comments are even more important if you are working in a group. It makes it easier for other developers to understand and use your code. That being said, comments are not and should not be used as a substitute to explain poorly written code. You should always try to write clean, understandable code and then use comments as an addition. Before we end this video, here is a quick recap of what we learned. Comments are hints that we can add to our program to make our code easier to understand. Python completely ignores them. In Python, the hash symbol is used to write comments. Comments are also used for debugging code. Python doesn't have multi-line comments, however, you can use multi-line strings having triple quotes that act as multi-line comments. That's it for this video. I hope you learned something. If you're just watching the video without writing any code, I highly encourage you to try the programs in this video on your own. The only way you can be a good programmer is by trying. By the way, you can find all the programs from this video on GitHub. I posted the link in the description below. Feel free to copy the programs and edit them as you please. And if you have any questions and feedback, use the comment section below. Join me in this video series and let's explore the exciting world of programming together. If you like this video, hit the like button now and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring that bell icon so that you don't miss the next video. In the next video, we will learn about the Python operators which allow us to perform operations on values and variables. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Happy programming!